Hi guys, it is me, Tess, aka Have a Call Dot Bucky, and today I'm going to be sh sharing with you my May anticipated releases. There are seven books I'm going to discuss just for a, a brief moment, and usually I don't do these individually by month, but I realized that there were seven books that are releasing in the month of May alone, and what makes it even better is that this is my birthday month, so I'm super excited. And without any further ado, let's get into the video. The first day is obviously May 7th, and that's actually in just a couple of days. So the first one is Again But Better by Christine from Poland Bananas Books. And when I heard that she was writing it, I was super excited, and I love her book writing videos. I will link her playlist in the description box below. But her book writing playlist is so good, and she goes over the entire process she went through. Like, to get Again But Better from an idea in her head to an actual physical book. And I'm really, really excited about it, and I heard so much good things about it, so I'm super excited. The next one I want to discuss is Finale by Stephanie Garber, and it is the third book in the Carvel series, which I actually have Carvel on the shelf right behind me. I don't know if you can see it. It's not really visible. But I have Carvel. I do not have Legendary. I have not read them yet, but I really hope to very soon. I've heard a lot of great things about this series, so I am super excited to get into them. The next book I have is Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, and these are the two authors of The Illuminae Files, which you can actually see the first book right up here. And I've, while I haven't read those, I've heard a ton of hype about them, and I'm super excited for Aurora, Aurora Rising because it takes place in space, which is super cool, and ever since I read The Martian and Zenith, I'm all about space stories. And that brings me to the final book that comes out on May 7th, and that is Nexus by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings. This is the sequel to their book Zenith, which came out last January, and... While there was a cover change, which I'm usually not a big fan of cover changes, I watched a video earlier this evening on why they decided to change the covers, and it was super, super cool. So it actually takes place mostly on an ice pen, is what she said, and that's why the cover, like, that's why the cover change worked so well for it. And I'm just super excited to finish the duology. Moving on to May 14th, there's only one book this week, but that is There's Something About Sweetie by Sandia Menon, and she is the author of When Zippo Met Rishi and From Tingle With Love. I'm super excited to read this. I've heard it's just such a good contemporary story. I'm really excited to read it because her writing style is so cool and I love it. And moving on to May 21st, which is actually the week before my birthday, we have King's Bane by Claire Legrand, which is the second book in the Emporium trilogy, with book one being Furyborn, which is one of my favorite books right now. And King's Bane is, I think, probably my second most anticipated release after Nexus. So I'm super excited to dive into this and read more about Riel and the like all the queens and stuff like that. So I'm super excited about it. And moving on to May 28th is Enduring Destiny by Shayla Patel, which this is the third book in the uh, Joining of Souls trilogy. I hope, I think it's a trilogy anyway, I'm not 100% sure. But book one was Soulmated, which I, I read a couple years ago as an ER. It was absolutely amazing, and I have not read Fighting Fate yet, but I've heard it's just as good. And the, there's this one, so I'm super excited about that. So... I hope to read these very, very soon because I am actually really bad at new releases. So that does it for the seven my seven anticipated May releases. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up and go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And I would love to know what books you're really hyped for in May or even beyond. I have a little list that I might do in June of books like that are coming out in June and even in the 2020 which honestly that list is I think like eight or nine maybe ten books so as of right now I mean there's a whole ton of great releases in May so I'm really excited for this month it's gonna be a huge huge book month and I love it like I love when there's a lot of really good releases coming out in the same time period so I hope you guys can venture out to your local bookstore or your library and get some of these and I will see you soon with a new video. Have a great week and go pet a dog or, you know, pet a cat if you like cats or read a book or do something that makes you happy. <laughs>